Hi, great that you're back. Today I would like to show you one awesome feature of the Sony A6700, which is variable shutter speed. When do I need this? Well, you need it basically when you're shooting videos inside, when you are um, filming a display or a monitor or something where you have LED lights or artificial light, you probably have recognized that there is some flickering in your footage or that there is some banding, that some black lines are running through the footage. And um, usually you can adjust this by uh, changing the shutter speed, but sometimes you just can't get rid of it 100% and so the Sony A6700 has a great feature here which is variable shutter speed. Um, you can use this only if you set your camera to shutter priority or to manual mode. You can use it in video and you can use it in uh, photo shooting situations so i show you right now how you can do it how you can set it or find it in the video settings but you can also do this same thing in the um, photo settings so first of all we set the camera to video and then we set it to shutter speed or manual whatever you like to do so and then we we switch on the camera so we go to menu we go to the video tab because we would like to set it for the video settings and then we go over here we go down to tab number five which is shutter speed and silent mode then we go over again and then here are the anti-flicker settings so we go in there we toggle it on which it is right now so if we just toggle on the shutter speed a variable shutter speed then you have to look down here we can also do it via the shutter uh, via the touch screen but you can also use the dials then we can use the dials the front dial and the back dial to adjust it manually but there's a much easier way which i prefer and i'll show you how to do this if you are in this menu and if you enabled the variable shutter speed you you go down here and then you have the automatic scan which means if i push now the middle button here it will check you see right there it says automatic scan and then it will set this little um, box here automatically so that it eliminates every flickering or every banding on your footage so then you can start recording without any yeah distortion in your pictures so this is a really really cool feature which i love but it's always you have to remember where it is in the menus and it's hard to find so what i did i assigned the toggle on toggle off of the um variable shutter speed to my fn menu and i assigned the auto scan to my C3 button and I will show you how you can do this if you don't know it. So you open up your menu, you just choose any tile here you like to. I, I put it on the first one so you hold this one and it goes into the FN menu settings and now you can simply say yeah you can do it for the um, uh, for the picture mode and you can do it for the video mode so if you would like to assign it to any of these little tiles here you just tap on the tile and it jumps in there we are already in the correct um, setting here so in this case if you would like to assign it to the fn menu you go to the video tab then you search again for the um, silent and uh, shutter settings you go over here and then you assign the variable shutter to the FN menu. So that's the whole trick. Then you go back to the menu and then you can simply toggle it on and off here when you tap on this. Because if you do regular picture without any artificial light, you don't need it. You can simply use your regular shutters, manual shutter settings. So you don't need this fraction settings that the 
uh, variable shutter speed offers you. So now we have this set to the FN menu. And um, but I also would like to have it on a hard key button here, the the auto scan, so that I don't have to dial it in manually when I switched to this this option. So how do I do this? I go to menu all the way down to the little yellow suitcase here. I go over to the third option and then if I want to set it for the video I go down to the video settings and here I can choose uh, different um, the different buttons or options I have. I can set it to a dial or whatever. In my case I wanted to have it on my trash button so I cho uh, I've chosen the first option and then you go down to the button you like to assign. You can see they light up as you toggle down, up or down. Now we are with the trash button. We prompt this with a center button and then you can assign anything to this. So we go again to the video settings. We go over to the third tile with it says uh, silent and shutter speed modes. And here is the anti flicker TV scan mode. So if we assign this now to this button, uh, then it makes life much easier if you are in artificial light situations, if you try to do a tutorial where you um, where you record a display with your camera and stuff like that. You don't have any problems with flickering anymore. You just simply switch it on and off so you can toggle it on and then you say OK. And now you do the automatic scan. You will see this little information that it is scanning and it will set it to the correct settings so there there is no flicker in there and that's it. So this whole thing makes it so much easier. If you are in artificial light uh, situations, you don't have to do it in, in, in post-production and stuff like that. You can simply assign it to the buttons and use this great feature of the A6700, no matter if you're doing a video or if you're taking pictures. You can do the whole process for pictures too, if you like to. I do love this feature. I really have to say this and it is so much easier and the footage is so much better if there are LED lights or if there are monitors or something like that. So I hope I could help you with this video and you learned something new about your camera. Um, just yeah, choose this playlist for the A. 6700. I will put up some more videos for this camera and how to use it because it has so many features and so many options uh, that makes <laughs> filming and taking pictures easier for everyone. Um, yeah, if you have questions write them in the boxes underneath and otherwise yeah I see you next time. Thanks for watching.